What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Gabby. Um, today's video, I'm just going to do a quick everyday makeup routine because obviously in the last year or so, I have not been on YouTube. Um, so I've developed a new quick, very quick um, makeup routine for like when I just need to go out and I don't want to look all washed out because I'm really, really pale at the moment. Um, so I just basically just use like foundation, contour, highlight and maybe a little bit, a tiny bit of eyeshadow a lip liner maybe a lip gloss sometimes i don't i just skip that part and i'll just like pat my lips with the foundation and i think that's pretty much it while i do it um so i'm not obviously if you're watching this you do want to see the makeup routine but you don't want me to explain it in every single little minute detail so i'm just going to be telling you a little bit about um my birth and stuff like that just because in the last video i told you guys my reason for not being on YouTube for a year. So I thought I'll give you a little bit of my story um, while I do it. So let's get into it. First of all, I like to prime with this um, Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is the best primer I've found. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but I just go ahead and put it on with my fingers. I love this primer, it smells so good. Um, so yeah, I fell pregnant with Madden literally this time last year. Um, I was so shocked when I did the pregnancy test. I was not late at all. Um, I actually just had the feeling that I got pregnant. Um, there was actually a lady on Facebook when I had the miscarriage earlier in the year. All of my friends, um, and my sister and, um, whoever else were doing this Thing on um, Facebook so there was a lady and she was like predicting when you would have a baby and the sex of the baby um, you could get like a detailed reading and she'll go more into detail with like how your pregnancy and stuff would be um, so first I just did the prediction um, which was spot on she said that I fall pregnant on the 30th of March I actually got the reading I think it was like eight or nine days before and I was like, I'm due for my period. There's no way that I'm going to fall pregnant. Like, she's wrong. Um, so it turned out that I actually got my period on the 30th of March. So what, technically, when the doctors go back and check when you're pregnant, um, they go from the first day of your last period. So she was right. Um, and she also predicted that I would have a boy. Next up, I'm just going to be using this foundation. And it is not focusing for me. Um, it is the Too Faced Born This Way. And it is in colour sand. I actually need some more. Um, so anyway, so she's predicted that. She predicted that he was going to be a boy. And because he is my little miracle baby, um, conceived naturally, I actually didn't find out what I was having until he was born. Um, so my friend found out for me so she could get all of the personalized things that I wanted for him. So like, um, she had his name printed on some clothes and a blanket and stuff like that. Um, I told her a name either way and then she just went and helped me out with that. Um, it was so hard not to find out. Like I obviously wanted to know so I could prepare. Like it was really hard to find, um, neutral clothes. So, um, he pretty much... She actually, my friend actually brought quite a lot for him. Um, so I was okay in that department. Um, and I've definitely made up for it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over my lips with the foundation. And not use any lip gloss or any lipstick. Um, so yeah, she found out for me. And um, she was in the labor room with me. So I fell pregnant naturally, obviously. Um, I had a very, very, compared to my last three, I had a very easy pregnancy. The last two, especially before Madden, um, were really intense. I was in and out of hospital all the time, just with urine infections and stuff like that. Um, it wasn't nice at all. So his was super easy compared to the last two. Um, I know this is taking super long, but I love blending the shit out of my foundation. Um, so yeah, he, um, I didn't find out, uh, his pregnancy was super easy, so I went into labour, I actually got acupuncture, I'm just gonna let that dry off for a bit, um, so I ac actually got acupuncture, <sighs> what day was it, I think the Wednesday, and then I got acupuncture again on the Saturday, which is the night that I actually went into labour, 
Um, I couldn't believe it because usually I go to the hairdresser and I get my hair washed once a week. Um, fresh right now. So I was at the hairdresser after my acupuncture, acupuncture session and I actually started to feel a couple of little tightenings and I thought it's nothing because when I was in the second acupuncture session, I actually got um, three, what I thought were contractions, but then because they didn't continue on, I was like, no, like I, it was all in my head. Um, next up, I'm just going to use the Hula by Benefit, um, I don't know why my camera's not focusing, um, bronzer. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that um, where it needs to go. Um, so yeah, I was in a salon and while I was getting my hair washed, I felt a couple of little tightenings. So later on that night, I was laying in bed with my daughter and... I was really uncomfortable like it felt like period pain but then after about an hour I was like hang on a minute these are coming regularly like this is labor and so I messaged my friend who was going to be in the labor room with me and I was like don't panic but I think I may be in labor like I wasn't sure at that point um, and so this is about 3 a.m. So I started getting it and timing it at 11. 3 a.m. I messaged her. She came over here about four. We went up to the hospital at seven. I got checked. I was two centimeters. Um, she said that it wasn't active labor yet. Gave me a couple of panadine fort and sent me home. I come home and I slept a little bit. Um, it was just, it wasn't too bad. Like I honestly could tolerate that pain any day. Um, so I came home and I slept because I didn't actually sleep the night before. Um, by the way, guys, this usually takes me about five minutes to do, but because I'm talking, I'm sidetracked. Um, so then I ended up getting a couple more contractions later on when the Panadine Fort had time to wear off. And my friend came back over because she went home to feed her kids and stuff. Um, she came back over. She's like, come on, let's get up. Let's go for a walk. Try and get this baby moving. So that's what we did. Went for a walk with my daughter. Um took her up to the park and by the time I got home on my way I think I got about four or five like I think they're about four minutes apart so I got more contractions and I was like um I don't even have formula like I really wasn't prepared for him like I was but I wasn't so she's like okay do you want to go and get some I was like okay so we went to Woolworths in Woolworths, I started to get more contractions, and so we went straight from there to the hospital. I got to the hospital, and she said that I was now four centimeters, and but my cervix was still really thick, so I don't know what that means. Um, so I stayed in hospital. Um, she put me in the labor ward, but I didn't want to just sit down and do nothing, so I knew to get this baby moving, I literally had to get up and go for a walk around and stuff, which is what I did. I pretty much just paced the hospital. Um, when I went back, next I will be using, hold on, Alexis Ren and ColourPop uh, highlight. So it's a really, really pretty color. It's a bit shimmery, obviously it's highlight. Um, so I'm just gonna put this where it needs to go. Um, so yeah, I was pacing, went back to the labor ward, had a bit of a bath. <laughs> I stayed in the bath most of my labor. I um, think I was in there from about 10.30 at night till 1.30 maybe. So by this time, I was in a little bit more pain. like the contractions were coming very regularly they were getting stronger and at 1 30 she got me out of the bath and got me to lay back up on the bed so she could check how much further dilated i was and at that point i was so discouraged i was still four centimeters but she said to me that your cervix is completely thinned out it's paper thin um so again i don't know what that means but obviously it means progression so about half an hour later, I was like, I, so then I had the gas because it was just full on. It was so full on by then. I had the gas for about half an hour, I think. 
and then I was like this is getting too much like I think I'm going to need something stronger so she went and checked with me uh, for me if she could give me pethidine because I have I'm allergic to morphine so I can only have pethidine so usually they give morphine but obviously I couldn't have it so she came back and she's like, I'm so sorry, but you know, there's no pethidine on the hospital premises. We're trying to phase it out. So then I was like, can you please check me again? I think that I'm like 10 centimeters and I need to push, but I don't actually get the sensation to push, which is so strange, um, but I don't get that urge. Um, so I was like, I'm not sure, but please check me. And she's like, I just checked you like, Honestly, and I said, please, like my daughter came out super quick. Um, I went from six to 10 centimeters in about 20 minutes with her. So she checked me again and she's like, okay, you are 10 centimeters and you're ready to push. That makes me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so kind. Um, so I was so excited by this point because I was in excruciating pain. Um, and then I'm just gonna do my lip even though I haven't lined it yet. Um, so next, I will be using um, the Tarte Swamp Queen palette for my eyes. I'm not gonna go too full on. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and I'm literally just gonna use, what shade am I gonna use? I'm just gonna use the um, Sweet Tea. So I'm just gonna pop that on my eyelid. Um, and then I'm gonna blend it and this is probably not the probably not the best brush so I'm gonna take my Smashbox brush um, and I'm gonna blend it in. Um, these are still wet, I washed all my brushes last night, that's okay. Um, so then after that I started pushing and within about 15 minutes he was born, maybe 10. And it was pretty sad. So when he was born, he just before he was born my water broke, um, probably five minutes before I gave birth. And the lady said to me, look, I don't want to panic you, but your baby has actually did a little bit of a poo inside of you. Um, so when he comes out, he might have breathing difficulties. So that obviously when you say, I don't want to panic you, it's going to panic me. Um, so at that point I was like, so stressed out. I was like, I have to get this baby out. So I did. Um, and then he came out. And usually they leave the cord on you for a few minutes, um, just so baby can get that last bit out of the placenta. Um, so they did that. I actually cut the cord this time because I've just never cut a cord before um, and I just wanted to do it all myself. So I did that and then they took him straight off me pretty much. His cord was really short so I couldn't actually pop him up onto my chest. Um, so I had him like kind of on my belly, but the towel was on my belly, um, uh, the blanket, sorry, was on my belly from, cause I was really, really cold from the gas. Like it just made me shiver and really shaky. Um, so I had that on me. So I didn't actually get skin to skin with him. It was like the worst thing ever for me because that is so special when you give birth and you feel your baby's warm skin on your skin for the first time so i missed out on that um so whatever kept him safe i was happy to do they've taken him straight off me after that put him like under that hot light thing um and the baby doctor came in and just checked him and he said his breathing sounds fine it is a little bit shallow we're just gonna take him down to the nick unit just to be sure um so that i freaked out again um, so they've taken him down to Nick unit. I didn't actually need stitches this time. Um, he was just a little bub. He was seven pounds seven. So they came in and made sure like the placenta came out, made sure that there was nothing going on, on with me, like wrong in my belly. Um, and then they let me get up and have a shower when I was ready, which I pretty much knew because I was going to meet my baby. Um, cause I didn't get to really have a good look at him and you know, like, talk to him and stuff was so sad so because of that i got straight up and i went and had a shower um and then i came back in got dressed and stuff and i was so eager to go and meet him so i did i went straight down to nick unit i wasn't able to have a hold of him until the next day which was christmas day um but oh no 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 sorry i did i had a hold of him later on that day so i had him at 2 56 a.m um he was just the cutest little thing I've ever seen. Like usually babies come out all squished and 
really strange looking some babies so um yeah he was the cutest little thing that i've seen so he was kept in the nick unit for three days he was born on the 24th and i brung him home on the 27th it was really sad because um i couldn't stay in there with him i just felt like my other three kids at home needed me to be there more for them on christmas morning than what madden would obviously he was i couldn't hold him much anyway he was in one of those um humidity cribs with the lights and he had like oxygen machines and stuff like that on um only for a few hours but it was really sad to see him like that um so i came home i think about five or six o'clock that afternoon so like 14 hours later and woke up with my other three for christmas um and then yeah we like kind of did trips back and forward to the hospital on Christmas day. So Christmas wasn't the same last year, but that's okay. Um, it was still like a really great day. Obviously, like I just had a new baby who is now three months old. I can't believe how quick he's grown. Um, so yeah, that is my story on my birth. Um, I'm just gonna quickly ooh, put some lip liner on. Um, and then, yeah, that's all I usually do. So then I just pat it in because I don't like the um, harsh line. So I just pat it in a bit. And there we go. That's my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, obviously it takes me around five minutes, not, I don't know, I think this video has gone for about 15 minutes now. But yeah, that's what I do from day to day. If, I just, if I'm just going to have lunch with friends or I'm going to the shops and I don't want to look like pale and stuff, Ever since I've had Madden, I just don't look or feel the same. So I just needed to figure out a quick and easy makeup routine. Obviously having four kids and six puppies is hard work as it is. So finding something that was really quick and easy and still um, really nice was the best thing ever. Um, anyway, so if you did like this video, please go and give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I hope you like this video and to all of my new subscribers, um, if you have some suggestions, what you would like to see me do that I haven't already done, like go back through my videos if you want and go and have a look. Um, if you would like me to do something specific, comment in the comment section down below and I will see what I can do. But um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye.